We are live, baby. It is Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern, Friday Focus. Hope you missed me last week, Thanksgiving, and took the day Friday off because we went and got our Christmas tree, even though we're Jewish. Figure that one out. It's really fun. <laughs> um, so here we are today in December. It is December 2021. We are about to end this year. I cannot believe it. But we also are entering the fun and fabulous holiday season. And I'll tell you what, um, this is a time where people think they need to like, nothing gets done, or they're rushing to get everything done. And we got to fill in fit in the holidays. Ah, and guess what? That's not what we're talking about today on Friday Focus. Say hi, if you're somewhere where you can check in. Today, we're talking about the disgruntled. Yep. The people who are upset with you or upset with your business or upset with your workplace or maybe even in your own house. Today, we're talking about the disgruntled um, and how to deal with it. Now, we're, we're not saying you're the disgruntled one. You're having disgruntledness reflected upon you. And so this is how we're going to de deal with it. Um Oh no, LinkedIn is having a problem. All right, everybody. You know what? I don't know if I want to do that. Let's stick with all you guys who are right here. All right, so LinkedIn isn't seeing this and today we're not seeing it on YouTube either, but we will post it. All right, thank you for those of you that are live. I guess you're on Facebook. Hi, those of you in our groups. We have exciting stuff coming up next week. If you can see across the bottom of the screen, we are doing the Headliner Masterclass for coaches and service-based business owners. And that takes place in the Sensational Coaches on the Rise Facebook group. You can register right there. It's a full free week of great content helping you build your business and build your reputation as an A-lister. So join me for that. I'm so psyched. Um, and... Back to the disgruntled. So today we're talking about if someone's upset with you, what do you do? Upset with you, upset with your business, upset with your service, upset with your workplace, okay? First of all, I'm going to quote one of my mentors who used to say, make them right even if they're wrong. So how do you make someone right if, even if they're wrong? How you make them right is you calm the heck down and don't let your fight or flight instinct come in where you, you feel like you're being attacked so you want to attack back or let your adrenaline get too high because that makes your thinking not so good. And recognize that when people are upset with you, I call it anger aerobics. Like they have to go through, they have to get through the whole thing and do the aerobics of it until they can go, ah, and then you can talk. So let them have it. Let them have it. They need to get it out. And then you can talk. So stay cool, stay calm, stay collected, and acknowledge the upset, right? Acknowledge it. So I get you're upset. You, I see you have every reason to be upset, right? So you're not making them right because you're going to say you were wrong. You're making them right so that we can get to a place of people feeling heard and understood, and therefore you can communicate, Right. When someone's in their fight or flight and their adrenaline is up and they're in their anger aerobics, you can't reason with them anyway. So don't. Now, if someone is attacking you, damaging you, you feel like you're in danger or this it's just over the top abusive, then you get out of the situation. You're like, we're not going to talk about this until we can do it in a calm way. All right. But let's just say that it's moving forward, the anger aerobics are over, you acknowledge where this person's at, and then you take responsibility. Now, again, it's not taking the blame. There's a difference between blame and responsibility. So, um, you know, saying, okay, I, I understand that you're upset. I take responsibility for this setting not being ideal for you or that this happened. Let's look at this, right? So again, you're not saying that you were wrong necessarily, and maybe this person is out of line, but you want to get this to a place where it can be discussed. That's the whole point. Okay. Now, once we've done that, we want to redirect. We want to redirect from problem to solution. Is there a solution here? Is there um, a way to remedy this? 
Is there a way to think about it differently or reframe it or even challenge the person to think about it differently? I remember one time, um, you may or may not know that I spent, uh, I think it was four years doing a character called Life Coach Lurleen, who uh, it, mel it melded my years as an actor with my coaching years. And I created this character and I, um, I had a one woman show and a well-known person in the personal development field had me do my routine at her conference. And she had someone come up to her very offended by my character um, because you know, I wasn't making fun of anyone who wasn't in my own circle. <laughs> like This is based on people that I know, but this person was offended by my character. And I remember being uh, impressed with how my colleague dealt with it. She said, well, let, let me just invite you to think about what are you, what are you really offended by? And just making the person think about it again, they realized they had no beef with it, really. Okay, it was all men, good fun. So redirecting to a solution, redirecting to re-examining it, redirecting to reframe it. Then of course, have boundaries if this has gotten out of control. And like I said before, you step out of it. But once you've come to some place, either of a resolution or an acknowledgement or um, a different way to look at it or an agreement to take a break and look at it differently another time, the heart, probably one of the harder parts is to let it go. Like when you knew that you weren't, when you know that you weren't in the wrong, but someone has a problem with you it's sometimes hard to let it go, right? It's sort of like they they slimed you a little bit, like it got all over you. And now how do you let that go? So you process it whichever way you need to. But most of the time when people are upset, it's a projection that they want to put on you, right? So it's, I'll put it on you. You caused me this pain. You caused me this situation. And if you didn't really cause it by a mistake or an oversight or an insensitivity, then you just really need to realize that you had to get the person through their thing and that it doesn't have to be your thing. So let's review. How do we handle if someone's disgruntled with us, make them right, even if they're wrong. Let them get through their anger aerobics. Don't let your adrenaline and fight or flight take over and make you defensive and, and upset. Um, acknowledge that this is an upset, acknowledge what happened, take responsibility if that's right, help people reframe it or head towards a solution and get out of the problem and into the solution, set boundaries when needed, and then let it go. So even though this was meant as a, a business tip, don't forget the holiday season is always full of hot emotions with families and um you know, hurt feelings or old grudges. So this could be used then too. And go back to my uh, thanks pre-Thanksgiving Friday Focus, which was about this as well for those of you dealing with family. And please join me at Headliner next week. Anyone have any comments or questions? I can see there are a couple people live that um, you can pop in here before I say goodbye. All right, well, join me for Headliner next week. It's, it's free. There's no pressure. <laughs> I will tell you about other things that are coming up, but um, come enjoy five days of free content on building your service-based business and especially coaches, how to sell, um, how to sell more comfortably, how to close a client in 20 minutes or less, how to do 30 minutes um, sessions instead of an hour, how to build your skill set to leverage your outcomes to an A-list reputation. So thank you for being here. We will reconvene next Friday and every Friday most Fridays at 10 a.m. Eastern. And I'm going too much coffee today. Ramble, ramble. All right, everybody. Take care.